Good morning, Falls Church. Dave Donaldson, Director of Innovation and Technology here today to show you how to change your Playster website and incorporate your GoDaddy domain name that you've recently acquired. First, you want to go ahead into your eEdge backend, log in, and then go ahead here to the technology bar. You've done some work on your website to this point, so you should be familiar with how to log in here. Go to your KW website, access the website through the Go to Website portal. Then it'll bring up, you'll see here, place to start scrolling in for you. And you can go ahead and edit your website here. You should also have open at this time your, uh, go, your hosting platform, whether it's Bluehorse or GoDaddy. You should have that open because you're going to need to access your domains that you have hosted. So from Playster, scroll down to your custom domain button here. Go ahead and click on that. On the right hand side, you're going to see a step by step article, and we're going to access that in a moment. Do not rush ahead. Maybe you can hear our friendly jackhammer going on today. Do not rush ahead and change your domain name here or here until the very end. I'll instruct you when. Go ahead and open up the article. You'll see that will open up in a new tab. So you'll have your hosting platform open, you'll have Playster open, and you will have your article open. At the top of the article, it's going to say right here, using your GoDaddy domain. So we're going to go in there and access our instructions of how to add GoDaddy. Down here, it is going to talk about other platforms that you may use, DreamHost, Hover, iPage, Name.com, Network Solutions. So wherever your hosting is taking place, there's other articles here to help you out. But we're going to focus on GoDaddy right now. Here's Bluehost for some of you that use that. So click on the video button that says use your GoDaddy domain. So here's the article that literally gives us the instructions of how to change over the information. Now you can watch, continue to watch my video or you could actually watch the Playster instruction video. But I'm going to go ahead and continue to give the information. Here's information that we're going to have to change on our record at GoDaddy. So if you continue to follow down, it's going to tell you to log in your GoDaddy account. Go to manage your domains. So let's go ahead through that process. Let's go to my GoDaddy account. Let's go ahead and open up my domains here. All right, manage my domains. I don't need to talk to these guys. Let's load up here. You're going to go to the website that you want to edit. Okay. And those of you that thought I was kidding, I actually do own my children's domain names. So they're right there. Okay. So revolutiongroupre.net. So that's my website that I currently run right now. So, but if I were to go in and want to make some changes to that, I would click manage DNS settings, just like the article is telling me to do. Okay. The name saver should be set as such, just like you see in the article. And we're down here. We're managing. We've entered our domains, which we just chose. Manage the DNS server, which I just selected. Now we're going to fix the domain settings, okay? So we have to go to DNS management. And we are actually going to change the name servers. Sorry, not the name servers. The name setters are defaulted to NS1, NS2. You typically do not have to change those. Scroll down to the change the A record. As you'll see, type A here. If we toggle back to the Playster or domain, okay, so here are the records. You'll see first one here listed as A type. Over on the right hand side, you have the pencil. If you go ahead and click and edit the pencil, we're going to go ahead and change where this is pointing to. Okay, and if we look at the article again, we'll see that this gives us exactly what we wanted to point it to. So you want to change it to this 184, 169, 141, 142. You literally just grab that copy that and drop that into where this was pointed to. The custom TTL should be changed to one hour, then hit save. And you'll see that this is updated here. Okay. Now we're going to go and change the C name and we're going to scroll down to where the C name here is www. I want to go ahead and click the pencil again to edit. I'm going to delete where it's currently pointed to. And if I go back to my video, I can see, again, it's going to give me the exact point to. So I'm just going to copy this right here. Copy domains.myrealestateplatform.com. Go back. Okay. Paste that in there. Your TTS should say one hour. 
click save okay now once I've done with this as you continue to, if you toggle back to your article and you scroll down it's going to tell you now to go back to your GoDaddy I'm sorry go back to your Playster website okay now we can go to our Playster website and add our custom domain so if I go into Playster you can type in here to add a domain right here well mine's already in here but you would literally just type in add domain here okay click add domain and save and then you'll see it populate right here just like you see it in this article okay at the bottom of that page you'll hit save you'll refresh you'll come back out I'm gonna dismiss this here and then you would literally just click either launch you will have already launched your website at this point, but you now will click and look at your website live. And how you know it's working is that you'll see your website up here now. And when you change from page to page, you'll see that it's starting to index. And what I indexing means when I change the pages, you'll see your core domain name with the subdomain text behind it. So any pages that you've built, any blogs that you've posted, it will adjust and that's the additional pages that Google sees. So watch this video, work your way through it, contact me if you have any challenges, but it's just a matter of going through the right sequences. If you're using a domain name that's currently pointing somewhere else, there's some additional steps that we're going to have to do and you should probably contact me directly before you go down that path. Have a great day, Dave Donaldson, Keller Williams Realty Falls Church. Talk to you soon.